Dalton, Thompson, or Rutherford and Bohr, Schrodinger and Heisenberg, and many, many more, use their brains to venture in the realm of inner space and found the world of the atom was a weird and wondrous place. Dalton did experiments and said, I think it's clear. Atoms are tiny, indestructible spheres. Thompson worked with cathode rays, said I disagree. A plum pudding model makes much more sense to me. A new chapter in atomic theory started to unfold when Rutherford played around with atoms made of gold. When a few of his alpha particles came bouncing back, he hypothesized a nucleus had knocked them off the track. Dalton, Thompson, or other Foden Bohr, Schrodinger and Heisenberg, and many, many more, used their brains to venture in the realm of inner space and found the world of the atom was a weird and wondrous place. Bohr saw spectral lines for hydrogen and said, it seems to me, electrons move in orbits with specific energies. Heisenberg said, forget it, there's no way to know the orbit or a path where the electron's gonna go. Schrodinger used lots and lots of fancy mathematics, it made a model of the atom based on quantum mechanics. It has orbitals, and those are based on probability. The atom is a fuzzy blob of pure uncertainty. Dalton, Thompson, Rutherford and Bohr, Schrodinger and Heisenberg and many, many more used their brains to venture in the realm of inner space and found the world of the atom was a weird and wondrous place. Dalton, Thompson, Rutherford and Bohr, Schrodinger, Heisenberg, many, many more Use their brains to venture in the realm of inner space. Found the world of the atom was a weird and wondrous place. <laughs>